Didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Oh, uh, he's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight. Hopefully you just watched some B-roll. Yeah. If you watch that B-roll and you enjoy it, put a comment below. New lens. Call to action. Oh, God. This is King of Kentucky. I feel like this is a... Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was so close. Mistakes <clears throat> were almost made. Oh, that was so close. Oh, you poured that much. You poured what about happened? three ounces. Okay, so. King of Kentucky. King of, also known as. Kentucky. Also known as. God. What? That didn't make the video if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Whew. Oh. Oh. My gosh, we're back with the hitter. Listen, right now. Been real excited to drink this. This bottle, we opened it, took her out of the shoulder for scientific purposes only. And then I hated it, so. Look at what it looks like in a glass. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. 200 zoom just happened. It's so, you guys can see it's, this. It's like, we don't ever talk about whiskey color unless it's ridiculous. Uh, a rich mahogany. It's the richest mahogany. Oh. <laughs> Did you smell it yet? Not yet. Oh, don't do it. This bottle brought to you by. We gotta switch sites. No. Schmornschmub.com slash bourbon junkies. Nope. Head over. Nope. Okay, I think we're actually back now. Well, I don't know how that cutting is gonna work out, but we're here. I'd like to start pulling blends like this. This uh, bottle was helped Obtained by, helped us obtain it. Robert Miller, thank you, sir. Yeah. Seriously. Because otherwise we have never had a shot at having one of these at retail. And. So, thank you, buddy. Also, this bottle is actually dedicated to one of our $100 patrons. Dedication. Thank you. For being our $100 patron, Ivan Indreland. I think. Indreland. Indraland. Indraland. Indreas land. Indreas land. Oh, he's like, I'm so <laughs> done. He just it quits immediately. We got it open. It was on the screen. It's on the screen. <laughs> Guess what? Bam! Now it's on the screen. Took long enough. So, um, <laughs> so King of Kentucky is a single barrel product from Brown Form, and they started in 2018. I do know that. I think the 2018s were. I, I, I'm gonna say hit or miss, we didn't ever have one. Uh, I'm surprised we have one now. Well, this is 2019. Okay. So the 2018s, I believe, were hit or miss. And then in 2019, they went insane on secondary. Everybody was looking for them. Everybody yeah. was collecting them. People were buying, like, because they're single barrels, so. Wait, is it because the 2018s weren't that good? I believe so. And then the 2019s. The 2019s? Came out, okay. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, they're I just didn't know if it was something like the 2018 people didn't really know what it was or something like that. I don't. So I think that they were expensive, two to $300 on shelves. Not cheap. Right? 15 year barrel proof whiskey, non chill filtered. Like the spec sheet on the whiskey is fantastic. I'm really excited to see how the new barrel proof uh, old Forester. This will crush that. I guarantee it. Does. Yeah, this will crush that. Because the age, the age is going to be the difference. Because those 14 the, year single barrel. 15. Is it 15? Mm -hmm. It was 14. 15 years. Yep. I suck at reading. It's uh, barrel number 14. If you're wondering, 66% if you're wondering, also. I think they have. And non chill in. filtered angel tears, give or take 66% barrel proof. Dude. I'm almost crying. This is an actual, you can zoom in. That eye is watering out of happiness. Um, This is the first time I think I've smelled that like actual like fatty note and it's how rich it is outside of some Eagle Rare store picks and Eagle Rare 17. Can I say? Which is, it's few and far between to get that note and have it be as well done as it is. There's a noise bottle. Yeah, it is. If there's been a noise bottle since Mictor's 20, this is the noise bottle. I would almost imagine you could set this next to Eagle Rare 17. I think this crushes Eagle Rare 17. Spoiler alert. I think you could set it right next to Eagle Rare 17 it. and it would be a bear fight. Nope. For nope. It would be a bear uh, fight if there was one dog win. and one bear. That was the bear. Dogs win a lot, if you're wondering. Not a single dog. That's what you think. Not a single dog without a hunter with a gun or a machete. Me machete. With a machete. 
Um, You're riding Nox against a bear. With a machete. We might. Well, now we're not making it. Um, it is rich, fatty, butterscotch deliciousness. Oh. I can't. I swear, I swear to God, it smells just like... You took an apple tree and you just had rich honey There's so many no, all I'm around gonna, it. I completely agree with nice dark honey. Yeah. Also, a meaty note. Savory. It is. It's very savory. Also, a cola note. Uh, like an RC cola? Not... It's very specific right I'm there. I'm talking... Real sugar glass bottle Coca Cola. Yeah, it's not that fake stuff. I could literally smell this all day. It's one of the greatest. This is the greatest whiskey I've smelled I since Michter's Twenty. Did you spill it? No, we're like five minutes into this video. I haven't even tasted it. I've tasted it three times. Okay. And you know what? Every time, fantastic. Um, for people wondering, this is barrel fourteen. Oh. Uh, bottle 85 out of 112. Only 112. It's so, I mean, 66%. And yeah. Four, 15, 15 years, sorry. Yeah. Um, oh my God, that hug. Excuse you. Why does it smell like this? Coconut? Really? Yep, 100%. Like coconut. Smell it, think coconut. All right. No. The nut, the nut of the cocoa? No. 100%. Not at freshly, all. Freshly, freshly cracked open. Really? You get coconut. Almost cocktail esque. Not even close. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't get anything tropical. Mm -hmm. Coconuts don't smell tropical. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. And what about pina colada? What do you think of coconut? A lot of sugar in those. Yeah. Coconut. Yeah. Fake coconut. I'm talking a real coconut. Oh my god. Have you had real coconut? Yeah. Oh, I can't go on with this video. Because if I drink it again, we're gonna have to take it off YouTube. I can't deal with this level of whiskey anymore. Michter's 20, this, that's the bear fight. Eagle Rare 17, it's a see ya. Gone. I, uh, Not even close. Eagle Rare 17 can take a seat. It's basically heart of Captain Planet, as you would say. <laughs> you I, take a seat. I swear to goodness and back, this is, if we had Eagle Rare 17, this and like WLW. Michter's 20 and WLW, yeah. Greatest whiskey war of all time. Eagle Rare, dead last every time. Bar none. T see you later. That's in video. WLW, dead last with Eagle Rare. No, you, no, I had With these. Eagle Rare. And then this and Victor's 21st second fight. Let's go. That's the whiskey war of the century. This feels so like layered. It's decadent. It has that rich oak. Yeah, Super and like it just, oak. you keep going back and I just keep smelling it and I just keep thinking like that enriched, lovely, sweet oak. Fatty, delicious. Dark, work. rich, fatty notes up to front. drink this forever. It smells like candied bacon. And that note comes through on the front of the palate where it's really sweet, savory at the same it time. Is. Then as you swallow it, it just gets better and it hangs around forever. Okay, so you said, I'll take one step back. Mm -hmm. I said I don't get anything tropical. Right, coconuts. Grilled pineapple. No, maybe honey. No. It's, as far, it's not acidic. It's. I think it's got the proof that really like bites. Okay. And it's really, really sweet. It's a grilled pineapple. It's got that, it's gotta be grilled pineapple over oak staves. This is one of the greatest whiskeys of all time. Um, yeah. It's one of the greatest whiskeys of all time. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say about it. A plus. You just end it. This, I feel like if you took Red Oak 22, I like where you had that. Proofed her up. Yes. To 60 proof, or 60, 6% alcohol. This tastes like Rhetoric 22 <gasps> plus Whew. Old Forster President's Choice. Oh, okay. You get a little proof in the President's Choice. Yep. This is why, you know what I'm really interested to know? This versus President's Choice versus Mickers 20. Man. Those three actually would be swinging for the fence level. Like, I don't know how I thought this was gonna go, but I feel like this is the worst review ever of Angels, a bottle we've ever done. Nope. Did you want to grade it? A. I Elon Musk level okay, that's naming. Fair. SpaceX. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like you're naming a star. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, it's one of the, I don't know what, I don't listen. Did I give a thousand notes and were they all perfect? Of course I did. Mm -mm. 
Did Sean say grilled pineapple when mm -hmm. he meant coconut? Of course he did. It's not coconut. Or the bourbon junkies. In any way, shape, or form. Thanks for watching this. <laughs> if you watched it, it makes more sense. Like, comment, subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Find us on Patreon. Definitely see some of the behind the scenes on this you video. You know, have you ever rode the Millennium Coaster at a... Millennium, Millennium Coaster. <laughs> What's it called? This whiskey will take the words out of your mouth. That's how Millennium good it is. Millennium Coaster. Falcon. Millennium Force. I was close. F. Millennium so, Falcon. Remember the first time you rode the Force? Yep. This I, is that bottle. Okay. The first time. Oh yeah, that first drop. Yeah. This is now the, it's the Val Raven. Oh, it's so much better. I know, but the first time you ever rode that roller coaster, <sighs> this bottle, that's your first experience on the best roller coaster ever made at the time. Pushing the bar.